Hello, my name is Michael Wright. Until recently, I was professor for research methods at the Catholic University of Applied Sciences in Berlin, in Germany. I was co-founder of the German Network for Participatory Health Research and also the International Collaboration for Participatory Health Research. I led both organizations for a period of years, and now I serve on the steering group of the International Collaboration. For the last six and a half years, I've led PartCon Plus, German Research Consortium for Healthy Communities. PartCon Plus is one of five research consortia funded by the German government in the funding stream prevention research. Our work is focused on applying participatory health research on a wide scale in the interest of contributing to municipal health promotion in various parts of Germany. I've been invited to talk to you today about participatory health research, what it is, what it can do, and I'll also be talking to you about the ICPHR. And I'm hoping that I can convince you as a network, Health Cascade, to become what we call an affiliated network of the ICPHR. Much of what I'm saying today can be found on the internet side of the ICPHR under www.icphr.org. The term participatory health research was created as an umbrella term by the ICPHR because we found that internationally we have many different terms depending on our language and tradition for what we are trying to do in terms of initiating participation in health research. Participation in our sense means not just somehow people being involved in the research process, but means that those people whose life or work is at the center of the research have a direct influence on the research process. That means from the start, that is defining the research question, to the design, deciding on the methods, collecting the data, analyzing the data, interpreting the data, and disseminating the findings, particularly putting those findings into practice. Participation in this sense is not necessarily always possible, but is always the goal of participatory health research. Participation in research is not a method, but it's rather an entire approach. It could even be considered a research paradigm. You can use both qualitative and quantitative methods in participatory health research. In our first position paper called, What is Participatory Health Research? In the ICPHR, we defined 11 principles to help participatory health researchers to identify the primary characteristics that need to be found in the research in order for it to be called participatory. Qualitative research is often misunderstood as being more participatory than quantitative research. That's not the case. What we mean by participatory research is ownership. Whose research is it? Who decides what happens in the research process? And who decides what happens with the findings? And in that sense, both qualitative and quantitative research are seldom participatory because they're under the exclusive control of the academics. Participatory health research has many advantages. One is to address the problem known as translation or transfer or knowledge transfer internationally. We address that through co-ownership and co-production of knowledge so that the research that's being conducted is not the research of science or of academia, but is our research, and that is this hour is all of those people who've been involved in deciding about the research projects, the process, so that the people whose life or work is a subject of the research have a direct stake in what is happening and what comes out in terms of making change. Therefore, the questions and methods, because of the participatory process, are directly relevant to the social actors who are involved. And various forms of knowledge can be incorporated and made visible, not just the typically abstract forms of knowledge, which are found in the scientific literature. And in this sense, participatory health re research takes into account the post-colonial critique of science recognizing that there are many different forms of knowledge in the different cultures and different traditions 
of different ways of generating knowledge that is equally legitimate. Participatory health research also promotes co-learning on the part of all participants, learning about each other in the research group, but learning also outside of that research process about people whose lives and ideas are very different than your own. Participatory health research also promotes the empowerment of the participants through the process itself and regarding the subject. Under study, especially we're looking to empower those people who suffer most from health inequalities in our societies. Participatory health research is met with several challenges in being initiated and carried out. An important challenge are the entrenched power dynamics found between academia in other parts of society found in many cultures. There's also a lack of knowledge in how to facilitate a true participatory process. Certainly, academics are not trained to do that. Um, rather, the academic system rewards individual achievement, and particularly at the doctoral level and above. So that participatory health research has a lack of recognition among academic institutions and funders. The funding mechanisms are also inadequate for participatory health research because they don't take into account the length and complexity of the participatory process which needs to be funded prior to actually the research design and in the process of the many changes and iterations that happen during the research process itself. The ICPHO was founded in 2009 by myself and I was at the Research Group Public Health at the Social Science Research Center Berlin. Dr. Bob Gardner and Dr. Brenda Roach at the Wellesley Institute in Toronto, Canada, and by Professor Jane Springett, who was then at the Liverpool John Moores University in the UK. We were sharing our frustrations and concerns about participatory health research and were looking for others who wanted to advance the field. And we um, depicted that process of founding the ICPHR in a paper that was published in 2009 in Health Promotion International. The goals of the ICPHR have remained essentially the same from the beginning. First, to define what PHR is, that is, what constitutes true participatory health research. To enhance the quality of participatory health research, how do we know when we're doing it well? By applying the standards of non-participatory health research, um, we often can be in a quandary about what is actually um, high quality research because there are very different standards when you're working in a very diverse group of people trying to generate knowledge. The third goal is to strengthen the impact of participatory health research. How can we ensure that that which comes out of participatory health research can actually be implemented for the improvement of health in our societies? The central office was initially located at my university in Berlin but moved in February 2021 to Morgan State University in Baltimore, Maryland in the United States and is led by Professor Payam Shekhatari and Ms. Gillian Silver, as you'll find on our internet site. We have well over now 250 members from 20 countries and we've been growing at uh, a great pace actually over the past about year, year and a half. Where does participatory health research stand today, I think we can summarize that under five movements, you can say, that are happening in our field. There's a consolidation and a networking happening. You can see that in the work of the ICPHR, but also in um, regional and national networks, such as the German network, the Irish PPI network, the UK network for participatory research. We are moving to clarifying what participatory health research means. There are several position papers that the ICPHR has written, a position paper on the guiding principles, as I said. There's also one in development on the issue of empowerment, another one on funding in participatory health research. The third issue is evaluating the impact of participatory health research, about which we've also written um, a position paper now called Impact in Participatory Health Research. What is the added value of participation in research? What does it actually do that other kinds of research can't do in terms of promoting health in societies? The uh, fourth issue is clarifying ethical uh, problems and dilemmas in participatory health research because when the research doesn't belong solely to academia, the usual criteria of ethics 
don't apply neatly to these complex processes? How can we ensure that there is an ethical um, way of conducting research and uh, a participatory process, ensuring an equitable process, is part of the concerns about ethics in the participatory process. And the final movement that you see is that advancing participatory health research is being advanced in specific areas, such as participatory health research with migrants, participatory health research with children, as found in the group Kids in Action, a working group of the ICPHR, or participatory health research with older people, another working group in the ICPHR. We've recently come up with new terms of reference. We have a new structure. We focus on a distributive leadership. It is a flat hierarchy and collaborative structures. We now have a steering group, a coordinating committee, and affiliated networks and working groups. The affiliated networks, such as your network, um, have a direct influence on what happens in the ICPHR and invited to be members of the steering group. And if you're interested in that, I would encourage you to contact the central office and tell them I sent you. We have an annual working meeting that takes place in a different country every year, and that's really a place to work together on common issues, to meet each other, and to develop new topics. Last year, of course, we conducted the meeting online, as did everyone else. We're hoping to return to in-person meetings and will likely in the future have a hybrid structure where there's online and offline components. Here at the end, I want to make you aware of two books that can be very helpful, especially for the, for the young researchers who are starting out. Um, one uh, book is called Participatory Health Research, uh, Voices from Around the World. I think you'd see that some of the variety in participatory health research um, that is going on and can help you to think and locate your work in your own culture, in your own tradition, in your own language. And this other one is really a textbook that can guide the entire research process. We felt there wasn't really a book that covered the various aspects of participation that we thought were important. So several of us in the ICPR got, got together and we um, published this book, which can be very useful, very concretely for your research projects. I hope this information has been helpful. I look forward to being in the steering group and uh, working with Health Cascade Join us. Become part of the participatory health research movement.